a museum educator here at the Creative Discovery Museum, and welcome to our science laboratory. Today, we are going to be doing great balls of fire. I'm so excited that you guys are here with me. Now, today, we're gonna to be talking all about combustion reaction. And a combustion reaction is the same chemical reaction that takes place when we make a fire. So, there are a couple of things that we need in order to have a combustion reaction. Three things, they're very important. Number one, we need oxygen. And where do we find oxygen? It's in the air around us. We breathe it in, so we find our oxygen in the air. Now, another thing that we need, number two, we need a fuel source. And our fuel is something that will burn. So we need our oxygen and our fuel, and there's one more thing that we need in our combustion reaction, and that is heat. And today in our experiments, we're gonna be using fire as our heat source. So we're gonna be talking all about that combustion reaction, and we're gonna be making sure that when we do our experiments that we have those three things that we need, oxygen, fuel, and heat source. So for our first experiment, we're gonna be using lycopodium powder. Now that's kind of a weird name. Lycopodium powder comes from lycopodium moss, which is a plant that grows up in the trees. Maybe you've been to Florida, you've probably seen lots of moss. Now, moss reproduces or creates more moss through spores rather than seeds. So this here is actually the spore of the lycopodium moss. Now, a long time ago, people used to use lycopodium powder in their tea when they had upset tummies, or they also used it for babies on their bottoms when they had diaper rashes. But it turns out lycopodium powder is very flammable. Why would we put something flammable on a baby? That's crazy, right? Do you guys want to test out and see how flammable lycopodium powder is? Because I know I do. So, we're going to see how flammable, just how flammable our lycopodium powder is. I'm going to get our heat source. We have oxygen in the air and we have our fuel source. We're going to see just how flammable lycopodium powder is. Now friends, does that look flammable to you? <sighs> Doesn't look flammable to me. Now there must be something missing in our combustion reaction. We have our fuel source, and if our fuel source, the lycopodium powder is very flammable, then why didn't it burn? We have our fuel, we added our heat source, but what about our oxygen? Well, we know oxygen is in the air around us, but I'll tell you something. Our lycopodium powder, it's clumped together on the top of this watch glass here. I think we need to spread it out. Maybe you have an idea of how we can spread out our lycopodium powder. I have an idea. I'm going to pour our lycopodium powder on top of our flame and see if that increases our surface area and allows our lycopodium to burn. So friends, let's give it a try. We're gonna get our heat source. All right, here we go. We have our lycopodium powder and we're gonna see if we increase the surface area if it burns. Perfect, we had a great firefall. So we needed to increase the oxygen by increasing the surface area. So we had a great combustion reaction.